And at this time, we ask that you do not film what we're shooting. At this time. No bootlegging. <laughs> right. I'm a VHS. <laughs> Eight tracking. So, uh, you ready, uh, Igor? Hey, you give me that gun. It's the best. The best. Watch us direct this shit right before your eyes. It's the best. Too the easy. Best. Wayne Hayes. You better think it. Say queen. Think it. Think it. Think it. It's the... It. Yes, sir. The hustle must continue in this game that we play. Yeah. Welcome to the Hustle Continue podcast. I'm Wayne Hayes. I'm Say Quinn. You know what I mean? We're taking yeah. over this podcast game. You shouldn't have let me in. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Look, the legendary uh, Sad Quinn starting his own podcast with the entrepreneur, you know what I mean? Young boss Wayne Hayes. It's going to be too epic. We're going to have so many uh, uh, relatable artists talking about relatable topics. Right. All kind of things of that nature. You can cuss, right? Yeah, we going to cuss. Fuck that, man. We talking to everybody, you know what I'm saying? From time to time. Yeah, and we talking to Wayne Hayes. He's a pioneer in my neighborhood, just like I am. And, you know, you talk, talk about everything we got going on in the world. Everything. Look, pearls, pearls. For me, it, 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 it's too easy to make the uh, first episode about you. So, you know, I'm just going to get into some questions because there's, there's probably some people here right now that I can ask some questions about your legendary career that they may not, def uh, they might not know. So, hey, hey Igor, I need that other mic too, because if I get that other mic floating right there, then I can get a, uh, I can get a uh, comment from the crowd. Audience question. All right, cool. San Quinn, when did you? What, what what year did you start your career? I started rapping in um, '93. '93. That's when I that's not when I started rapping, but that's when I put out my first record. Your first record in '93. How old were you? I was 14. 14 years old. 14, yeah. 14, yeah, yeah, 14. Ever since you, like, ever since you was, uh, ever since you came out, you had a man voice? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, hey. My dad used to think somebody was in the room when I was talking to my mother. Uh, a man, another man. Uh, I developed this voice really with my great grandfather. Was, w. W. Francis. Make my food. <laughs> that was, no, that was uh, 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 the, 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 the most unique thing about your presence is that that booming voice, that, that the presence of your voice, even at a young age, it just immediately sets you apart from everyone else. You know, a story about that, about my voice. My great grandmother, my mother said she was young. She used to be cutting school, right? She had cut school and she was at one of her friends' house. And she, the telephone rang, she was downstairs smoking weed or whatever, and the phone rang, and, and at the house, the man went, hello. And that was my great grandfather, this lady in the house. The voice, you right. know what I mean? Right. Yeah. The story about the voice. So, moving forward, you get introduced at some point uh, to a label, because your first, um, your first project was on what? In a minute or something like that? Buck 50 Records. Buck 50 Records. Yeah, Steven, Steven Gigolo G. You know, Steven Gigolo G. Okay. I met Steven Gigolo G through DJ. Uh -huh. David DJ, you know, you know uh, the DJ me is. The legendary DJ. Yeah, yeah, you know, you, you legendary too. I need to be interviewing you. <laughs> For sure. Uh, well, when did you start rapping? Uh, like 19... Uh, 80. Should I say, what I should really say, what did you start entertaining? Tell me about some of the things you did in high school. I, I know about you being a part of big, big, uh, big events. Tell, tell, tell me about some of the stuff you did to entertain and what you was doing when you was young to entertain, because it's bigger than rapping. I, I mean, I've been a professional um, thespian actor. I did plays, though. Right. In, in high school, and I went to a creative art high school. At the time, it wasn't considered an arts high school, but all of the artists went there, like, you know what I mean? That was Balboa High School in San Francisco. 
Bad Boy was creative? Yeah. When you went there, huh? Yeah. And then the criminals went there when I was going there. <laughs> Criminal high. <laughs> nah, 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 that's it. So, yeah, uh, there you was doing plays, like what kind of plays? Like what was what, the we play did, like playing in front of people where? We did the Broadway production of The Wiz. Is that right? Yeah, and I was The Wiz. You was The Wiz? Correct, and I think, so that's three, that's three songs, it's three uh, solo joints in that, in that uh, play. Yeah. You know, hella monologues, you know what I mean? You, you can't win, the, you uh, can't get yeah. out of the game. <laughs> right, I think, uh, that song right there ain't in the uh, in the play. But it's just on the movie though. Right, but the other songs, you know what I'm saying, is... What's one of the songs on Out The Wiz? Uh, uh, if, was, you, if You Believe. If You Believe, huh? If You like Get Back that. Home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was really Richard Pryor out there playing, huh? Right. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, uh, that's the TV version. It's the TV version. Yeah, but the you was the real The Wiz, The Wizard right, of Oz. Right, right, right. Um, so yeah. moving forward, you did, um, you linked up with JT, Get Low Records. How did that come about? I linked up with JT, the bigger figure, through being a part of uh, With Buck 50, right? Yeah. Gigolo snuck me on this record called Frisco Niggas Ain't No Punks when I was 14. Because really, JT and it was called YBG. Mm -hmm. That was JT, d and Set. So uh, I wanted to be a part of, you know, I wanted to be a part of what they was doing, but I'm from Central Street, so I could rap. Good, JT snuck me on there. I was at the end of Frisco, niggas ain't no punks. JT wasn't having that. He moved me up and I just knocked it down and then JT met the GOP. So that end of 93, 94, we had a, uh, David DJ when he was doing anything, but I wanted to be a part of it, wanted to be something with JT and them. So when he made the Get Low Players straight out the lab album, it just kind of made me a part of it. And we just kept hanging out with each other. And, Sounds good, sounds yeah. good. We want to shout out some, um, we want to shout out Royal Retro. As you can see, I got on this nice little uh, piece, Dish butter. this piece right here. Um, they're yeah. one of our uh, gold sponsors. We, um, when we put this out, there's gonna be a link in the bio. Use the code HUSTLE for 10% off your purchase. But they, you know, you know yeah. just sketch the trip. Me too. I'll do my scene. I don't know why they sent number six, but you know, I, I, all I really want to ask is Frisco <laughs> shit, but I, I, did, I did request head coach. As long as you're not 360. We're going to do some get a fact. Come here, pretty girl Shay. Come on, let's get it. Let's, let's, go, go, let's do it right now. Do it right now. Why hesitate? Why hesitate when you can be great? Look at me right here. Look, ladies and gentlemen, we. we Royal we, Retros. We we here uh, at the Hustle Continue podcast. And it gives me great honor to introduce to the legendary Pretty Girl Shay. Hello. Yeah, come on, make some noise. Hey, 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 hey. Talk to us. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Niche. All right, I'm Pretty Girl Shay. I grew up in San Francisco, Bayview. You know what I'm saying. So um, I've been doing music for a long time, writing for a long time. Um, I'm just now really getting out there, get myself out there on these platforms. And um, I love doing this. I'm, I sing, I write, I rap, and I'm here to have a good time and um, show y'all show what I do. <laughs> Give it up for Pretty Girl Shay one more time. Did you mention um, where they can find your music, oh. IG, and that kind of thing? Thank you, thank you so much. You can find me on IG at official Pretty Girl Shay. And you can look my name up and see a few songs I got out there. So my EP will be coming out soon, hopefully by March. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I'm just ready to rock. I'm ready to show y'all. You feel me? Up. <laughs> That's right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get the boots. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. 